Rick here with AmazingAccuracy.com. Today is Thanksgiving, November 24th, 2022. It is currently 6.03 p.m. Chicago time, or also known as Central time. All right, I wanted to share this with you guys really quick, so I'm making this really quick video, but we're looking at the 30-year T-bond, 30-year T-bond futures. Whew, well, I tell you. Anyway, this is the monthly chart, the long-term monthly chart. And what I want to show you here is take a look at that October low. Do you see what I see with that October low? Yes, it found support at the 38% expansion, Fibonacci expansion ratio here. 38% nailed it, bounced off. November has been a positive month ever since hitting that. Notice also this line right here, that's the 200 month, 200 month simple moving average. And it nailed that right at that 38%. So that in itself is quite compelling that it would hit that long term moving average. And Putting on the overbought, oversold indicator, you can see that it is within the oversold range here. You can also see that the long-term RSI had moved into the extreme oversold zone here and has now popped up potentially now to become a bullish trend. The MACD is not arguing with that. It looks like it would support that, even though there's not much indication here right now. There's no turn up or cross up yet. So let's just look at the daily really quick here. You can see that here's that October low. Uh, prices rose up, then it made the November low, and then it has been up since. And again, take a look at this. You have uh, a double bottom. All right, so that's pretty convincing right there. Prices moved up broke above the previous swing top high. Let's put that in. You can see that the direction has now changed. And once you start breaking above previous swing tops, you are now uh, in a bullish pattern. So we are technically on the daily chart. We are in a bull trend for the short term. On the monthly, of course, we are still in a bear trend but with good support. Now, the weekly, uh, we are still in a bear trend here. Uh, if I'm going to go ahead and put that on there, okay, you can see it did go into oversold territory. You can see the indicators went oversold. We got a cross up on the MACD. We got a dip in the RSI and then back out again. Now it is moving. Once it starts to cross the, the 50 here, uh, then we can call this thing bullish. Uh, I, I like it for that. But right now you can see there's the double bottom you see there uh, week ending uh, October 28th and then there was week ending uh, November 11th. So you have these two separated by an inside bar and then prices have moved up. Now right now it is in short term overbought territory. You can see here with the green and it's at a 38% Fibonacci retracement from this range going from week August 5th down to week October 28th, it has retraced 38%. Uh, it is doing it at a time. We, you see that it's 11.25 showing here. So uh, that is this week, of course, Thanksgiving week, right? 11.25. So there is good potential that we could start seeing prices pulling back due to being in that time zone or it could go one more bar before it does what i would like to see is for prices to start retracing i'll put a line here i'm going to go like this let's say it retraces i like to see something like this find retracement support by simply you know applying uh, i'll put the fibonacci retracement on there like so and then having it retraced back to one of these levels here, for example. And uh, let me see if I can get that to go away. There we go. Okay, have that go like so, and, and then start looking at uh, going long this market in expectation for this 
uh, major uh, support area here to hold for some time to come. And this is all based on whether this support right here is, is going to be long-term, hold for long-term, or whether this is just going to allow for a short-term pop and then go lower. But having hit this 200 moving average here, having hit this Fibonacci and being over uh, sold in these areas that you can see shown in these indicators in here, I kind of like that as a reference uh, when you're managing risk and wanting to go to the long side. So this is what I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be looking for uh, weekly prices to pull back. And if we get that, uh, I'm going to be looking uh, for an opportunity then to buy into the, op the, the market, the bond market, uh, as long as this holds. And I'll put that little, put a little line there, just make sure that it, it reminds me of that. So anyway, as long as that does not get violated, my play would be to the upside. But anyway, this is not trading advice, but basically to share with you what I have found here in the monthly and of course, you know, the double bottom in the daily and so forth. So anyway, I hope you uh, like this uh, real quickie video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so that you'll be informed of my upcoming videos in a timely manner. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.